Without Trevor Ariza, we may very well be doing these halftime shows from Houston or Denver, not L.A. Ariza is not known for his offense. His career scoring average is just seven points per game, but he is the Lakers' best defender. And twice in the last series, he preserved Laker wins late with a very crucial steal to seal the win. Even now, though, as the Lakers are on the verge of what could be another NBA championship, Trevor Ariza is never very far from tragedy in his past. Here's Chris Connolly. Ariza doesn't settle for the three and throws it down. Even as his high-energy contributions have helped lift the Lakers to the NBA Finals, Trevor Ariza with the steal. Trevor Ariza knows that family comes first. The family that has always been there for him through his days in big-time basketball. How has your family picked you up when you've been down? When I was coming out for the draft, uh, a lot everybody was against me, like, oh, what are you doing? Go back to school. Go, you know, you're tripping. My mom always told me, you know, she was behind me 100%. We got you no matter what. You know, we, we behind you no matter what. Again? Now Trevor is a parent himself, father of a one-year-old. As he teaches his son basketball, he hopes one day to tell him about his uncle, Taj. Oh. I wouldn't tell him that his uncle wasn't here for a long time, but the time that he was here, he, you know, he left a big imprint on my life. Trevor can still recall how sweet and appealing his youngest brother Taj could be, especially with their mother. You know, he would call her baby all the time and stuff and bring her flowers every time he came back in the house. He would pick a flower from the grass or something and bring it to her. He was funny, real funny, real lovable guy. Um, me and him actually always used to sleep in the same bed, so, you know, we were real, real, real close. On March 18, 1996, the family was in Caracas, Venezuela, where Trevor's stepfather, Kenny McClary, was playing basketball for a local pro team. Ten-year-old Trevor and his mother went to the game. Five-year-old Taj and another brother, eight-year-old Kenny, were staying with a babysitter when tragedy struck. Before the jump ball was getting ready to start, uh, they took my dad off the court and told him that um, what had happened. There had been a horrible accident. Taj had fallen from an open window at their high-rise hotel and plunged to his death. I didn't want to believe it, but once I got there to the scene, saw all the police, you know, saw my brother, because my brother actually seen him falling from the window. He was up in the window, he's playing, and he slipped. And once he slipped, he fell back, and my brother ran to the window. And he said, as, he was, as my brother was falling, all he could hear him say was, uh, he was calling for my mom. Thirteen years have passed, but the sense of loss can still be hard for Trevor to shake. Their all too brief time together is commemorated in the tattoo on Trevor's neck, chest, and arm. It says, blood is thicker than water. I am my brother's keeper. Rest in peace, Taj, I miss you. Ariza driving to the rim to the 10. And on the basketball court, even during the intensity of the playoffs, with so much at stake, Trevor says he senses his brother Taj's presence. I went to the basket and I dunked the ball. Uh, as I was running back, I swear I felt like a, a cold breeze and I stopped for a minute and I was like, oh yeah, that's my brother talking to me. <laughs> Ready? Best of all, there is the oh. special time Trevor enjoys with his one-year-old, a son named Taj. It sounds weird, but you know, he kind of reminds me of my brother a little bit. <laughs> Say bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> bye. Sometimes you win by winning championships. Other times you win just by being inspired by the loss of a loved one.